Hi guys, my name is Tara, and if you're watching this, it's already too late. Um, as promised, I've got a DIY video on how to make um, your own walking sticks. And typically, walking sticks, when you go into the store, you could get some really cheap ones. I did many years ago. I want to say maybe $20 for the pair, maybe a little bit more, um, not realizing what I was getting or what I needed and they worked well for me I still use them but they're um, <clears throat> coming to an end they're not they don't slide as easily anymore and um, I just didn't want to spend the money on some lightweight ones which can run you minimum $80 for a pair uh, up to $200 depending on what brand name um, so this was pretty simple. Um, first, you're going to start off with uh, two graphite driver shafts. Uh, we got ours at, what was the store? Golfsmith. Golfsmith. Um, they had on their wall a sign, prices ranging from $9.99 up to, gosh, I don't know, maybe $50. Bucks. Um, these were between 18 and 19. We had a coupon, so we saved a little bit of money. So for the two, we paid $32. Um, and they're very lightweight. Oh, which reminds me, I've got to go get my scale. So when I weighed them before putting on the stuff, I know they were under two ounces each with everything. It's just short of four ounces, 3.9 ounces. Um, once I add the glue to the tip, it'll probably bring it up to four ounces. Um, so two graphite driver shafts, two foam four grips um, from a fishing supply uh, where you can make your own poles um, from Jan's Netcraft. These were 10.90 for two, I got eight inch ones. Um, you don't have to get them so long. I think they started at six inch. Um, they also go up to 10 and 12 inches, but I got eight inches because it just seemed like it would be the right amount, um, for gripping space. I'm probably, I might add a strap later. I don't know. Who knows? Um, then the black diamond tips on amazon.com for two tips, $9.95. Um, when we were in REI, they did have these particular uh, tips. These are the Flex Tech tips. Um, the replacement for black diamond poles. Um, they were like $20. Uh, they didn't have black diamond. They had Lecky brand. And I was, you know, I, I found this DIY on Instagram and also on YouTube uh, of a hiker uh, that's hiking the Appalachian Trail now. Her name is Hanley Badger. Um, she, um, had a three-step photo on her Instagram. Um, so, um, that's it. So four ounces DIY trekking pole. Um, they're very lightweight and I think they're going to do the trick for me. I'm going to use them, um, also for setting up my tarp that will be hanging over my hammock. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please um, don't be afraid to add those uh, comments in below the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Hi guys, I just wanted to add um, to this video that um, I had a lot of help from my husband forcing these grips on. Um, I measured the opening of the shaft before ordering these grips, and they were about a half an inch, so I ordered grips with a diameter of half an inch. Um, but it was like nearly impossible to get these on. Um, I did trim the poles so that it's level if my arm was like this, level with my elbow. Um, so I trimmed about this much off of the pole, maybe five inches um, but everyone's gonna need a different height I'm very sure I'm only five two um, I also screwed
scraped out the inside of the grips with this fillet knife. Um, I've had this for so many years. It was one of those Ginsu deals, um, but it's still sharp as ever and very flexible. And I just needed something to just scrape a little bit of material out um, each side, and that helped uh, with a little bit of WD-40, which I don't like the smell, so I wiped that off and I used olive oil. Um, and he was able to slide it on from the small end and basically hammer it down like a madman. Um, but it got the job done. It's on perfectly and they're not going anywhere. I don't need any glue or anything. Um, and to cut the shaft, you will need a, um, what is this? A hacksaw with a fine tooth. Uh, this one is quite dull, but it still did the job. Um, and if you're... Uh, my my tips are it's it's right here um, it's flush with the, the grip um, so if you don't put anything in there you might want to sand it and smooth it out before putting the grip on which I was in a hurry I just wanted it done um, but I might fill this in with something maybe even glue a compass something cute I don't know um, to the top of this or if I could find a cork almost like a a knob that would be good for when I'm going downhill to hold on to something on the top um, or just if I'm just hanging out you know to have a knob um, to rest my hand on something ergonomic um, for the grip so that's assembly um, the tips just jam on um, I, like I said I, I I just pulled it right off I will be getting some epoxy which will um, take up the space in between where this ends and that ends um, because these tips are made obviously for a walking pole not a golf uh, driver shaft um, and I don't want to bang this and and make fractures going up because then it would completely ruin it so I'm going to glue it and set it and then that's it um, so I just wanted to add that tidbit and um, a big thanks to my husband for doing the heavy duty work. And um, that's it, thanks. Hi guys, I just got back from Home Depot and um, I got some glue to put the, on the tips. I've already done one. And now what I've done is, because the end of this pole doesn't fill up the entire tip there's a bit of a gap you've got to add a lot of glue plus I added some glue to the actual shaft so that there was some contact as well as filling glue into the gap around it and that made it pretty solid it's a, a gel it's Loctite gel um, it's good for metal rubber ceramics wood leather paper and plastics um, and it doesn't drip, so it's easy to work with. Um, but it does take a little bit of time to set. This one has set. In addition to that, I've added, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I'm still not sure. Um, I had these bungee cords, a pack of 20 from Walmart for like five bucks. And I made two extra knots to tighten it up on each end. And I've just hooked each one, this one into this part, the hole, and this one into the foam itself. Um, to make a kind of a handle like that. Um, it's much easier and less cumbersome than the straps. I hated that around my wrist. Um, and the poles are very light so that if I'm not holding on to it, it's like nothing. It's like I'm holding nothing and it's just enough. And I don't have to use it either. And if, you know, something should happen, an emergency, I could take these off and use them. I'm not sure. This is still in the works. I'm going to fiddle with this a bit more. Um, and make it a little bit less bulky here where the knot is a bit coming up a bit. Um, so that's that. With that strap and the glue, it's still just four ounces, just under four ounces for each pull, which is very good. My other pulls, I didn't weigh them, but they're pretty heavy um, and they're a pain in the butt. So. Um, just wanted to add that I will um, give uh, proper credit in below this video and uh, as well as a list of all the products I used and where I got them and how much so 
total with, um, oh, I didn't add the glue, but without the glue and the straps, obviously the straps cost practically nothing because I've been using them for other things. Um, 58 80 for all of this stuff with the glue. I think the glue was like three or four bucks at uh, Home Depot. Um, so I will list all the products I used. So be sure to uh, like and comment as well as subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas, uh, you know, hey, please feel free. I'll, I'll definitely uh, write back to you guys. And uh, thanks for watching.